So, today, we're going to look at refocusing the lamp inside the lamp house for 70. So, why do we need to do that? These are the aperture plates for 35 and 70. As you can see, 70 is much bigger. So, right now, the lamp house, the amount of light is a cone coming out of this thing. So, it's currently focused to hit this. But, if we want to show 70, and we don't change where the light is going, it's going to just be in the center of the frame, and it's going to look really sad. So what we're just doing is moving the lamp inside of here so that it fills the 70 aperture plate. So, it's very simple. There are three adjustments here. What we're really interested in is the focus one, which is the leftmost one on the bottom. That will move the lamp forwards and backwards which will adjust the shape of the cone, make it wider to fill the bigger aperture plate for 70. So, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this one, and we're going to go until we fill the frame on the screen so that we don't see any dark corners, and then go just a little bit further so it's nice and even. The point of that is you want your light to be consistent across the whole frame, and going just a little bit further makes it even more even. So, we're going to arc up here. I'll turn it back on. There we go. So, we have a lamp that is running. We are going to, with a flat 70 lens and the 70 aperture plate, start the projector with no film in it, open the dowser, and change over. So, as you can see, as I talked about, we're focused to a much smaller spot than the 70 frame. So we get a nice big circle that doesn't fill the frame of 70. So what we're going to do is take our focusing key, it's a nice long Allen key that'll go way further than you need it to, put it in the bottom left corner hole that adjusts the focus, and if you need to, you can use one of the peepholes for guidance, but usually you can just feel it. You're going to get it to sit into the socket, and I just felt a register there. So now this key is actually keyed up inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this lamp towards the front of the reflector, which is going to make the spot of light wider. So I'm going to go left, and more left, and keep going, and keep going. So as you can see, I'm not done yet, but the spot of light is more to the right side than it is to the left. That is because we had these aligned for 35, and 35 is slightly offset, 70 is straight on. So we will need to adjust that, which is what the horizontal adjustment is for. Let's give the Allen key a little pull here, and then line up the hex key on the other adjustment to slightly influence the left right so that we can get more of the light onto the left. Granted this is a little bit more particular than the focus so if it's not playing along I will just give up and fill it a little bit more but it's slightly creeping to the left as you can see which is helpful because that's what we're going for. So what I'm looking for right now is the hot spot on the screen there we go. I was just going the wrong way. So, um, we have these marked here for what they're aiming at. So this is the horizontal one, and it says clockwise equals right. But that's lamp relative. That is not how the spot is going to move on the screen. So if you're ever unsure, you can try going the other way, and as you saw here, it will usually help you out. So I'm going to take a quick break here, so the lamp does not overheat the lens. Okay, I think that's probably good enough. Open it back up here, and now I'm just going to just a little bit more to get it to fill the corner just a little bit better. And now we have on the top left and the bottom right just a little bit of dark corners. So that's just about perfect. If I can get the Allen key out, <laughs> it's sometimes a little stiff. Just give it a little wiggle. So now we're going to go back to our focus, that is front to back adjustment. If I can get it to register here. There we go. And I'm going to go just a little bit further to fill the frame all the way. So 
So we have no dark corners anymore. I'm just going to focus the app, focus onto the aperture plate to get it even more clear that we are in fact very nice and uniform. I'm going to walk around the booth so I can see it a little better from a different angle. So I'm not getting any funny reflections and it looks actually pretty decent. I might fuss with it a little bit more, but right now it's okay. It looks a little bit um, off center to me, but it's very close. So I might just fuss with it a little bit. See if I can get it to be more uniform. That looks better. Not in the right corner though. So there's a lot of experimenting and kind of seeing if you can get what you want. Sometimes you can't and you got to go back. So let's try this again. So there we go. We got our horizontal there. Went all the way from left to right. Now it looks very nice and centered. I'm just going to back it up a little bit more so that we fill the frame a little bit better. I can get it to sit in there. There we go. So now you can see the whole frame is getting darker, which means I've gone too far. So I'm going to back it up. And then I'm going to go until I don't see the center circle anymore in my nice bright corners. So I think we're pretty good there. This might be a more of a focus perspective thing. And I think it is, because if I rack focus here, it looks fine. Yeah, no, that was just a focusing issue, where the right side looked a little dimmer. But now it's nice and uniform and set for 70. So, as you can see, we got a nice uniform field. Everything is equally bright. And uh, we have a test pattern running here. And everything's in focus. And it's, you know, fit for 70. You don't see that circle we started with anymore. See, I put it here, but the map doesn't show town here. Well, then I guess we're not actually here. And we don't really run 400 flights a day out of here. Or ship 100 tons of cargo, medicines, weapons. Uh, <laughs> Why are they shooting at us? Because they're unfriendly. Why is everyone so unfriendly? Well, they haven't gotten to know us yet. I don't want to crash twice in one day. Don't worry. I crash better than anyone I know. Oh. Robert Downey Jr. Anything, anywhere, anytime. That's our motto. Well, it would be if we actually existed. That's right, but we don't. Air America.